team first alert weather forecast. Well, as we head on through this evening, we will keep the chance of a shower or storm in the forecast, but they are likely going to be more so in southern parts of the state. So we may get grazed by a couple from the north, but I don't really expect much chance. The overall severe threat is pretty low for us locally as well. These temperatures probably too warm uh, based on what we've seen so far this afternoon. We have barely up around 80 degrees. So I think we'll hang around that 80 degree mark and then cool through the 70s. As far as a uh, statewide radar goes, uh, we do have this little narrow band of showers extending from I-90 in southeastern Minnesota near and north of La Crosse and then over towards Wisconsin Rapids. And uh, what we are looking at is a much more unstable atmosphere over northeastern Iowa and far southwestern Wisconsin. These are areas that will have the greatest chance for some severe weather this evening. Let's do a little bit of a radar tour. This is up north of Eau Claire. Here's Highway 53, Chatek, Rice Lake. See a couple of tiny little cells. They're not really developing very quickly and kind of uh, uh, falling apart as they're sliding eastward here, one near Cornell and sliding through right now. We may see a couple more develop. Eau Claire is quiet right now. We have that narrow band of showers, mainly right now uh, working down into the Black River Falls area. But as I widen out the shot and look at northeastern Iowa, this is where we have a severe thunderstorm watch. Several warnings already. Uh, these could produce some large hail and damaging winds, even maybe a couple of tornadoes. But notice the trajectory is east, so this will clip far southern Wisconsin. Crawford County does uh, is, sits under this severe thunderstorm watch until 11 p.m. Dew points are mostly in the upper 60s and low 70s. It feels very sticky out there. It's a good thing we haven't had a whole lot of sunshine today. Otherwise, it would have felt a lot hotter than what we've actually seen. As I mentioned, we're only near 80 right now. La Crosse has been a bit warmer, mid 80s there. Some cooler weather to the north and west. That's where we're going to be focusing our eyes because the flow is going to be switching to the northwest and that's going to bring down some cooler and drier air as we start tomorrow off in the lower 60s. Notice tomorrow we stay mostly in the 70s. Our southern counties may break into the lower 80s, but we have this upper trough that will bring some cooler air. May also touch off a stray shower, but by and large, we're going to be talking about a several, several day stretch of dry weather. Here's a cold front that's lining up to our northwest. There might be a few storms that develop along that through over, over the next, say, three or four hours. But again, it's around this low out ahead of the cold front that has the best chances of producing some of the more organized storms for tonight. As we look at our forecast model after about 9 or 10 o'clock, those chances do move away, leaving us clear to partly cloudy. Uh, patchy fog to start off tomorrow. While it will be mostly dry, we do have the upper trough that could shake out a shower or two. A mix of clouds and sunshine, and we're looking great as we head on into Wednesday, Thursday. I think Friday as well. These will all be much more comfortable days, and we are talking about uh, temperatures that will be a little bit below average. 63 is our low going into tonight. And the next several days will stay in the 70s. Uh, breezy winds, not too strong, but you'll notice them. Through Wednesday, that'll be our cooler day. And then temperatures do gradually rise back closer to average by this weekend, but no return of high heat or mm -hmm. humidity. Speaking of high heat, Eau Claire still has not hit that oh, 90 yeah. degree temperature. Yeah. And uh, really right now we're at the midpoint of meteorological summer. So uh, kind of interesting <laughs> that uh, we have yet hit 90 in Eau Claire. Right, and it looks like at least a forecasted stretch of a decent amount of dry days. Dry days, that's a big change, and also comfortable weather. Yes. So if you have outdoor work, plans, whatever mm -hmm. the case is, uh, a great stretch to uh, spend some time outside. Exactly. All right, thanks, Darren. Yeah. We've got